Welcome. I'm Victoria Swinney, Director of the Delaney Brown Library and a Librarian for Nursing at Oklahoma City University. And this tutorial is designed to introduce you to searching CINAHL Complete for research articles in nursing. I recommend the Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature, or CINAHL Complete, because it is a long-standing, internationally recognized database of research articles on nursing and allied health literature. It is the most comprehensive single source of relevant articles focused on nursing and allied health available to you. Using a single source allows for more control of your search and fewer false hits or articles that don't meet your needs. You have probably seen links to CINAHL Complete database in your D2L nursing courses. When you click on the library resources link at the top of the page, you should see a screen that looks something like this. From this list of options, you can choose Nursing Journal Articles and then CINAHL Complete. When you click on CINAHL Complete, if you're off campus, this screen may pop up. Just type your Blue Link username and password in the boxes and click net, log in to see the CINAHL Complete screen. You will also find a link to CINAHL Complete if you search for a nursing topic in the library's main search box. One easy way to find the library homepage is to search for OCU Library in Google and to choose the Delaney Brown Library. You can then search the library's entire collection with this search box. I'm going to type in Diabetes Education. After a pause, you'll see this search in EBSCO CINAHL Complete box as one of the suggestions at the top of the page. Back on the main page, another way to get to CINAHL Complete is by going directly to it from here. If I click on Search and Find and Database List, I can search by subject or simply type CINAHL Complete in this box and click on CINAHL Complete to get into the database. However you get there, once you've opened the database, make sure that you're searching CINAHL Complete and that you see the three search boxes so that you know you're searching in the advanced search. Start by limiting your search to the latest five years and research articles. Um, type the beginning date in the first year box under Published Date and then scroll down um, until you see the checkbox for Research Article and click it. Scroll back up and you're ready to begin searching. Begin by typing the keywords into the of your research question into the box. The keywords are likely to be found in the articles and address the question. I will start again with diabetes education. I now have a list of 3,499 Research Articles on Diabetes Education published since 2016. We will save tips on how to narrow that list for a later session. Right now we will look at some basics about choosing and saving articles. I can read the titles and subjects from this screen. This is a good time to look for other keywords that might be helpful and also to see indications that the article might or might not be helpful. For example, the first article here has the subject diabetes education, which suggests that my keywords were a good choice. Numbers two and three also look like good options, but a closer look at number four, and I've noticed that the journal title appears to be in Portuguese. If you're limited to US research, this one is unlikely to be helpful even if the article is in English. You can click on any on the title of any article to see more information. So let's go back to the top and look at the first article. We can see by the affiliation that the author is a pediatric endocrinologist in Seattle, Washington, and that the article is published in the journal Pediatric Nursing. If I scroll down a little further, I can see and read an abstract of the article that usually inc includes the purpose, research methods, and summary of the results. I can open and read the article by clicking the PDF full text in the upper left hand part of the screen. Um, and then I can scroll through and read the article. 
or I can choose to print or download it from Adobe. The EBSCO also offers an option to email it with the, with the envelope icon on the far right. I can put in here any email address that I want. I recommend a subject that reduces the chance that it will end up in a spam folder. And check and make sure that you have APA as your citation format. Then you can send it, check your e email to see that it arrived, and double check spam if you don't see it. I can also directly from here just get the citation by clicking on this paper icon that's marked Cite. Then I can highlight the citation, right click and copy it, and then I can paste it into my paper. And you've got a good start for your reference list. Um, but always be sure to proofread this citation and make corrections, especially to capitalization. There are many more things that you can do with CINAHL Complete, but sometimes this is all you need. Try it out with your own searches. If you need more help, visit the Nursing Research Guides at libguides.okcu.edu nursing for additional tips and information on how to make an appointment with me.